Next, Je Zeb Yaroslavsky, former Los Angeles County Supervisor, District 3, in which the VGM stands today. Zeb was the first of four LA County Supervisors to donate $5,000 to the VGM, and his generosity is permanently recognized on the VGM on our list of major donors. Zeb Yaroslavsky. Well, thank you very much, and I'm uh, honored to have been asked to contribute to this. Usually one doesn't say they're honored to contribute to things, but in this case it was uh, an honor and an obligation to contribute to this monument. Because 75 years ago this month, at this intersection of Venice and Lincoln, there was another intersection, an intersection between freedom and incarceration, the intersection of the Constitution and the suspension of civil liberties. That's what this intersection is memorialized from this day forward with this monument. But memorials are only as good as the amount in which they inform today's and future generations about what happened back then. Yes, we remember the 120,000 Japanese Americans who were rounded up, loyal Japanese citizens who were rounded up and incarcerated during the war, but their memory, memory would be fleeting if we didn't apply the lessons of that historical event to what's going on in our society this very day. And while few people stood up to our government in 1942, we are a different country now. We have the benefit of history now and we have the intestinal fortitude now that our ancestors, generations, did not have. And so we have an obligation, not just to build this monument, but we have an obligation to carry out what this monument stands for, each and every one of us as individuals and collectively. That is why I was always so proud to represent this community, the Venice community, as much of a pain as it could be to a politician, <laughs> it was the essence of what America is. And the Japanese American community in this part of West Los Angeles is the essence of what America is and what it can be. So together, let's make this a constitutional country, one that doesn't repeat the mistakes of history but learns from them. Thank you very much for including me in this program. Thank you, Zev. Succeeding to the office from which Zev retired, LA County Supervisor Sheila Kuhl also donated $5,000 to the VGM. Sheila could not be here today, but we welcome her senior field deputy, Rachel Zidon, representing District 3. Thank you all. This is a tough act to follow all these fantastic speakers, so forgive me. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. On behalf of LA County Supervisor Sheila Kuehl, congratulations. This is really an important moment for the residents of Los Angeles County, and we are proud to be part of this momentous occasion. Um, this year marks the 75th anniversary of President Roosevelt's signing of Executive Order 9066, which forced the removal of 120,000 Japanese American citizens on the West Coast. This beautiful, beautiful monument is an important tribute to the 1,000 Los Angeles residents who were forcibly removed from Venice, Santa Monica, and Malibu, and serves as an important reminder of the tragedies of war. In today's political climate, we must work to defend and protect the rights of our most vulnerable populations and always remember the dark days of the past and never allow for such atrocity again. Thank you to the VJAM committee for working so hard to make this happen. Your dedication is greatly, greatly admired. This is a really, really great day and congratulations to everybody again. Thank you, Rachel. 
Um, the LA County Board of Supervisors has presented VGM committee with this beautiful scroll. She was not allowed to present it. <laughs> um, but it came from, actually came from Mark Ridley Thomas's office, who also donated $5,000 to the VGM. The late Los Angeles City Council member Bill Rosenthal, District 11, has always been a champion of the VGM project. He assigned his senior field deputy, Len Nguyen, to the VGM, and Len has helped the VGM committee negotiate the city bureaucracy for seven years. The late councilman's chief of staff, Mike Bonin, succeeded Bill Rosenthal to the Los Angeles City Council and inherited Len Nguyen. Here to represent council member Mike Bonin, Len Nguyen. Thank you, it's an honor to be here on behalf of the Council District 11 and, and Council Member Mike Bonin as we celebrate the completion of VJAM. Um, the importance of this monument didn't hit home to me until I, um, I'm sorry, until I went to Manzanar uh, with Council Member uh, Rosendahl. And I, it was, uh, I imagined myself on that journey as I would uh, Anise uh, from uh, Venice. And um, you didn't know where you were going. You were just told to, to leave. And when you got there, you got off the bus, you're out in the middle of nowhere with these mountains. And the only thing that was complete was the guard tower with the guns and the fence pointing down at you. Uh, and then I got angry. And then I realized why this monument is so important. Um, government sanctioned racism under the guise of nationalism is wrong. And this is important because that continues to this day. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> OK, thank you. Um, so as we dedicate this monument today, I hope we can dedicate it in memory of the people uh, who, are, who started the journey with us but could not complete it. Uh, former council member uh, Bill Rosendahl, uh, VGM committee member uh, Yosh Tomita, the other former internees, and um, Sue Embry, who was one of the founders of the, uh, the pilgrimage to Manzanar. Their legacy is now our legacy. And I hope that this monument will inspire future generations to make the trip up to Manzanar. So thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, and um, can I uh, call the members of the VJAM committee up here? I have a. Um, certificates to present to them in appreciation of their tireless work to make this dream a reality. On behalf of the City of Los Angeles, it's a privilege to recognize your contributions to build the Venice Japanese American Memorial Monument. Your exemplary efforts as a member of the VTM Committee ensure that we will always remember the spot where thousands of people of Japanese ancestry assembled before their forced relocation in Manhattan during World War II. As we commemorate the 75th anniversary of the tournament, VJAM is a precious reminder for us as a people to be vigilant by defending our rights. We need to put our words first, which makes our state of that as we to it.